Hey, that's good, Tara. You really captured the feel of the place. Spooky. Are you pretending to know something about our Brett? I know what I like, Tara. And I like that. I'm capturing the spirit of renewal. Life, death, and life again. Amazing. That's exactly how I would have described it. Don't you have a job to do? Brett, I need some fresh turpentine, would you? Please? Serve us with a smile. You are such a doormat. She likes me. In your dreams. Come on. I have something to show you. I'm looking. Look, they're all O'Keefe's. Eight generations. So? So, the last one, Declan O'Keefe, died in 1887. Hannah, is there a point to all this? Well, don't you think it's a shame that Angus O'Keefe, the actual school founder, isn't buried on the family plot? I don't suppose it bothers him. You know, they don't really know what happened to him. It would be kind of nice to solve the mystery once and for all. Especially since it is the school's 100th anniversary. Killing Tara! Oh. <sighs> Doormat. Wise beyond her years, Marilee could see immediately that her stepbrother Blake was attracted to Anna, the exotic newcomer from the Emerald Isles. <laughs> What's this? Sounds like Brett. It's just a story. Her own brother Dwayne could be a bit thick. Is that me? Are you calling me thick? You're violating my private property! <laughs> Jackie! Answer me, or your masterpiece gets it. No! Hey, 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 hey! What's going on here? He stole my novel. Yeah, well, she called me stupid. I did not. Thick is not stupid. So it is me. Stop it, both of you. Wayne, give a book back. Meredith, apologise. Meredith. Sorry. Now, where's Brett? He hasn't done his chores again. <laughs> Probably off somewhere with the exotic newcomer. What? I think he went to visit Hannah. Well, when he comes home, tell him I want to see him. I've got a theory. Hmm? Well, it's about Angus. Hey, Tara, let me help you with that. It's OK. I can manage. No, no, no. I insist. <laughs> It's okay, I'll get it for you. The whole afternoon's work? Ruined! No worries, I can, um, fix it for you. Won't take long. Brett Miller, you are the most awkward, I incompetent, clumsy! He's a Neanderthal. Can barely put one foot in front of the other. I wouldn't be so quick to judge. There's something special about young Brett. Special? He's especially stupid, if that's what you mean. Do you really know that much about him? What do you mean? Well... Do you know much about his background? The kind of family he's from, for instance? Are you saying that he's rich or something? But there aren't any rich people in Australia, are there? There are some very wealthy families in Australia. Hugely wealthy. Actually, I've heard there are farms in Australia that are half the size of Ireland. That's incredible. And families that earn a million a day in mining royalties. A million? A day? Oh, yeah. There's mountains of iron ore and huge amounts of gold. Uh, what do you know about Brett's family? Are they ultra-rich? I've no idea. The point is, you don't know either, do you? Now, if you'd excuse me, I've got work to do. I wouldn't believe it. Brett, rich? That's rich. <laughs> Right, 
problem, Hannah? Oh, um, I'm just trying to find out more about O'Keefe's. Huh. It's nice to see someone take an interest in the school's centenary celebration. Uh, well, we know that Angus O'Keefe was the founder, but there's hardly anything about him. Tell me what you do know. Well, he was born in 1866. He lived here at O'Keefe's, and then he disappeared in 1904. Try asking Seamus. He knows more about this place than anyone. His family's lived in Gardner's Cottage for generations. Whenever Angus went off on one of his expeditions, he'd always bring something back my grandfather. Well, they were the best of friends. Expeditions? Where to? Go oh, Egypt, South America, India, places like that. He certainly did a lot of travelling. Well, when he came home to settle, he went a bit strange. Strange? How? He became something of a hermit. Angus would lock himself up in that laboratory of his and my grandfather wouldn't see him for weeks. <laughs> he had a laboratory. Where? Does it still exist? Ah, no, no. They cleared the cellars out long ago. Nothing left now. They say he disappeared. That's right. Just after he opened the school. Here one day, got the next. Never to be seen again. I know where he disappeared to. Where? Australia. That's why he's not in the family plot. He's... he's over there. How do you figure that? Well, didn't you hear what Seamus said? Angus spent most of his time down in the cellar. He had a laboratory down there. Exactly. So, maybe he invented the portal and then secretly kept travelling back and forth to Australia. And if he did die in Australia, there must be some way to find his grave. Well, it shouldn't be too hard because there was only one cemetery in Perth at the time. Why is the other side in our basement? I don't know. I mean, which came first? The house or the portal? When was the house built? No idea. It's been Mum's family forever. Hang on, I've dropped my wallet. Go ahead, I'll be there in five. Brett Miller, you are so pathetic. What? That is just a flimsy excuse to go and grovel in front of Tara. Again. Oh, really? I, th I think I left it in the shed. Besides, I don't grovel. She's been showing interest in me lately. Hmm. Dreamer. You're about as interesting to her as an acne attack. Ah, oh, Tara, what are you doing this weekend? Would you like to come horse riding? Uh, no, thank you, Martin. I'm keeping my options open. For what? For other possibilities that might arise. This isn't about Brett, is it? It might be. Give us a break, Tara. If Brett's from a rich family, then I'm the king of England. Then how do you explain this? I admit, I was fooled by his casual attitude at first, but that's what Australians are like. Well, I'll prove to you that Brett Miller is an imposter. Oh, have you seen Brett? He's missed his dinner again. Oh, he forgot his wallet, so he just went back to get it. Back where? My place. He was helping me paint. <laughs> Getting him to do anything around here is like pulling teeth. He just wants to impress Hannah. Teenagers who can't express their real feelings do things like that. Oh, I should get you to talk him into doing some work on this place. Why? It's in pretty good shape for its age, isn't it? How old is it? I'm not sure. About a hundred, I think. Hmm. It's just that Brett was saying it's been in your family for ages. Yep. Uh, my father inherited it from my grandfather, but I'm um, a bit cloudy on the details before that. Don't you have a family tree? No, I never got round to drawing one up. I drew one up last year, but I need to add to it now that you and Brett are my family. Hey, I could do one for you if you want. And I could help. 
if you like. Oh, well, great. I've got some family photos and documents if you want to see them. Hi, Brad. I've been looking everywhere for you. For me? I wanted to thank you for fixing my painting. How's it going? Okay. Do you know who this is? Um, that is my grandmother holding my dad when he was a baby. She goes there. Do you know her name? Um, Maggie, I think. Margaret. And your grandfather's? Peter. Now, he was born the year Queen Victoria died. Remember my dad telling me that? 1901. Great. But, um, if the house is 100 years old, then he wasn't the original owner. Now, I'm not sure how the house got into the family before that. But, come on, time to wrap it up. It's past your bedtime, Meredith. Oh, I'd better get going as well. And, Hannah, can you tell Brett to come home? Isn't he back yet? <sighs> I'd better be going. Do you have to? Parting is such sweet sorrow. Yeah, well, Judy calls. <laughs> well, will you see me tomorrow? Oh, yeah. Yeah, for sure. Then good night, my sweet prince. May flights of angels wing thee to thy rest. Sorry? <laughs> Don't you know Shakespeare? Oh, yeah, yeah. Didn't he, um, didn't he win the Hawaii Pipeline Classic last year? Just gagging. <laughs> <laughs> Au revoir, then. For you. From Australia? Someone called Jackie. She doesn't sound too happy. Right. See you tomorrow, Tara. You ruined it! Ruined what? I, I thought you couldn't stand Brett. There's no point in being jealous. Jealous? I know your little secret. His so-called friendship with you is just a cover? A cover for what? I know Brett's the heir to a fortune. What? Don't play innocent. That's why he was attracted to me from the beginning. He could see we were soulmates. You and Brett. Soulmates. I know it's hard for you to even begin to understand, but you'll just have to accept it, Hannah. I can't believe the lies you told. What lies? What are you talking about? You told Tara you're from some fabulously wealthy family. I did not. Well, that's what she thinks. Really? And that's why suddenly she's interested in you. She thinks you're stinking rich. Wow. Nate. No, it's not. Because when she finds out that you actually aren't rich, she's going to drop you like a hot rock. I'll see you. And where are you going? To the cemetery. Hey, I'll come too. Don't bother. You just stay here and keep dreaming of Tara. Angus O'Keefe. You sure that's not A N G U S? No, it's it's the Irish spelling. Sorry, there's no record of that name at all. I'm so certain he'd be buried here. Well, don't give up, dear. There are other ways to track him down: newspapers, property records, marriage records. Yeah. Thanks. How's it coming along? I'm stuck. 
Jackie's grandfather, Peter Miller, married Margaret in 1928. But I can't find any mention of what her name was before she got married. Haven't come across any mention of the name O'Keefe, have you? No, why? Oh, nothing. Just wondering. What about anything to do with the house? I haven't found anything. Hey, let's go see if Jackie can tell us. My grandmother's maiden name. <sighs> Sorry. But I need it to get to the next branch of my family tree. There are some more old photos of her over there. It's up here, Hannah. Appeared in the West Australian, June 23rd, 1928. And that's the year they got married. Mr. Peter Miller and his wife, Margaret Nee Duncan, are pictured. That's it, her surname was Duncan. In front of Belclare House, built by her father in 1899. What's wrong? Nothing, I just... Wow, that means it's over 100 years old. When you finish with those dishes, I want you to scour that oven till it shines. Mum, I was helping someone. I don't care. Maybe this will teach you to come home when you're told. Oh, hi, Hannah. How'd you go? Well, your grandmother's maiden name is Duncan, and Meredith's trying to trace your great-grandparents now. Wow. Sounds like you're making progress. Yep. Oh, I'm sure you'll find them. We're really on to something here. This place was built by Mr. Duncan. Listen, you've got to help me get back to Ireland. Brett, this is important stuff we found, and you're not even listening to what I'm saying. Please, I'll do anything. Um, my dad says it's okay, Brett. He doesn't need you to help with the painting anymore. Au revoir. Mum, if I clean the oven really, really well, would you let me do the rest of this later? How much later? A little bit later. All right, but I want to be able to see my reflection in that oven or else. For you. I, I was hoping you could tell me more about Angus O'Keefe. And why are you so interested? I, I'd like to try and solve the mystery for the school centenary. This job can wait. Come along. If you were to inherit a lot of money, what would you do with it? If I inherit anything. Right. <laughs> if. I don't know. I'd, I'd set up a foundation to help the poor. So generous. I told you he was an imposter. Hey, where'd you get that? This isn't some wealthy family's home. It's a restaurant. I looked it up on the internet. What? Was there a problem? This isn't your summer residence? No. Well, then your family aren't rich. <laughs> Not really. But you told me you were rich. No, I didn't. When did I say that? Why did you lie to me? I didn't. Brett Miller. You are nothing but a bag of pond scum. Come along, Martin. Hang on, is that the only reason you wanted to hang out with me? You thought I was rich? I never want to see you again. I've never shown anyone this before. It belonged to my grandfather. They were, um, they were, they were great friends. That's right. And these are some of the gifts Angus brought him back from his travels. But it's this one that's special. Belong to Angus himself. It makes me think he disappeared because he was a man in love. There's an inscription. To Angus, with all my love, Claire Duncan. Belle Claire. What? Oh, um, it just means beautiful Claire in French. <laughs> so it does now. She was to open it up. It's my mom. No, it's not. But I think I have solved the mystery. Come on. What mystery? Angus. Oh, you still on about that. I've got a broken heart here. Well, get over it. Now, are you coming or not?
Should be over this way. Come on. Claire Duncan. 1875 to 1927. This is your great great grandmother. Wow. And here, Angus Duncan. 1866 to 1904. The same year Angus O'Keefe disappeared. And it's spelled the Irish way. So Angus Duncan is Angus O'Keefe. He took his wife's name when they married. Why would he do that? Well, because he didn't want anyone to know who he was. Or how he got here. That's why I built her that beautiful house on top of the portal. Look. The link swans. The same as above the portal. Do you know what this means? This means that you're the rightful heir to O'Keefe's estate. You're joking. Does this mean I'm rich after all? <laughs> I wait till I tell Tara. But I can't tell anyone. No. Otherwise, it's goodbye portal. I could close the school down. I could have the whole place to myself. I could portal back and forth whenever I wanted. Yeah, but you wouldn't do that, would you? <sighs> no, probably not. Because if you did, I'd have to tell everyone about the portal then, wouldn't I? Would you really do that? Brett. We made a pact. We promise to keep this secret and nothing can jeopardize that. Yeah. Still feel good to be rich, if only for a minute. But you know I'll never know. I'll know. And I might even curtsy and call your lordship when you come to the school. Would you? Yeah, right. <laughs> What do you think? <laughs>